In this video, we're going to calculate the energy levels of the different shells within a one electron atom. So to do that, we're going to use the Rydberg equation, which states that the energy of the shell is equal to the Rydberg constant, which is negative 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18 joules times z squared over n squared, where z is the atomic number and n is the shell slash principal quantum number of that orbital. For this exercise, we're going to use the hydrogen atom, which has a z value of 1. To calculate the energy of the first shell, which is n equals 1, we will plug in our values into the equation, so we will get negative 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18 times 1 squared over 1 squared, which equals negative 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. If we now go to the n equals 2 level, and instead of using 1 for the n value, we use a 2, what we get is a value of negative 5.445 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. We can go another step further and look at the n equals 3 level, which gives us now a value of negative 2.420 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. If we wanted to generate an atomic orbital energy diagram for this system, what we can do is we can place our n equals 1 shell at the bottom as it has the lowest energy. And then we just build it up and we will have the n equals 2 followed by the n equals 3. And so a trend that we can see is that the energy of the shells as the n value increases actually get much, much closer together. And that gap is a lot smaller. So what we did in this video is we calculated the energies of the different shells within a one electron atom and then we generated an atomic orbital energy diagram from that information. 